Hello, my name is Anil Kumar Kondepudi with the Avaya Global Support Services team. This video is about Enhanced Call Trace on Communication Server 1000. The Enhanced Call Trace can be run from Load 80 on the Call Server Overlay Prompt. LD80 can be used for Call Trace as well as the Enhanced Call Trace. LD80 provides a means of tracing a call by looking at a snapshot of the transient data associated with the call. The trace commands operate only when this overlay is active. If LD80 is aborted, the trace functions stop. Know that when using the enhanced trace commands, the overlay will not automatically abort if calls are being traced. And also it is important to note that if the system initialization occurs, all trace commands are removed and the trace operation is stopped. Now to run these enhanced call trace commands, we need the multi-user functionality package 242 on the call server as well as we need the multi underscore user prompt in LD17 to be turned on. The enhanced call trace has the following subset of commands. The first one is ENTC which stands for the enabling the enhanced trace command for a TN which is in the format of LSCU or the loop shelf card and unit. The T stands for the duration for which we want the trace to be enabled. The ENTD is to enable the enhanced trace command for a digital trunk. The LU stands there for the loop and the unit and T stands for the duration. The GOTR prompt actually begins the tracing on the uh, TTY and this enables the commands which are enabled by ENTC and ENTD commands. The FITR command is to get the details on the currently enabled commands. The STPT is to stop the enhanced trace command that has been enabled by GOTR. The DISTN stands for disabling the enhanced trace operation for a particular TN. And DL is to disable enhanced trace of all the TNs. Please be noted that we can enable the enhanced trace on three TNs at a time simultaneously. Let us now look at the system. First, you need to log into the call server. We have seen that we need the package as well as the prompt turned on. So let us see if it is turned on here. The package 242 is turned on. And the multi-user prompt is also turned on. So please note that this uh, command generates scrolling uh, output and you know, take proper steps uh, to save the same into a text file to be viewed offline or you can set the scrolling accordingly so let us now see how to so this shows the currently enabled traces which is none so it doesn't print anything so let us now check for the here 960015 is the TN of my set and 300 is the duration for which I want that to be enabled. Please note that our time duration is in the format of HHMM which is hours and minutes and the least that you can enable is for 1 minute and the highest is for the 23 hours and 59 minutes. So please do accordingly. Now since we have enabled, we are looking at the um, status and we could see that it is enabled but it is off currently. So to turn it on, we need to run the go trace. Now if you see, it says that it is turned on and it is running for zero, zero, I mean 0 minutes. So this will keep on increasing every minute. Now let us make a call. So I have made a call and also have disconnected it. So let us see the main important fields that are generated with this enhanced call trace. So if you see the ORIC or the originating TN is the TN 960015 on which we have enabled the trace. And uh, 
it gives the uh, details of this particular TM. So we have made a call out of key zero, and it, c it belongs to the customer number one, and the DGN is seven thousand, and the type of the phone is twenty fifty PC, which is a twenty fifty soft phone, and we can also see the endpoint IP, which is this, and the port five two zero zero. Then we see that the terminating TNR is a TN twenty one thirty and it is actually a uh, outgoing trunk call over or tie trunks and uh, since it is a IP to uh, PRI we need a physical TN or a DSP TN which is serviced by the IPMG 40 and the DSP TN is this we can also see the corresponding uh, codec details and we see we also see what is the day and dial and this is the main progress marker which shows that the call is established so and it also shows the talk slot details and the call id and here it shows the calling number and the call number and the call state which shows as active so these are the things that to be that is to be collected and provided to the support Let us now look at the enhanced call days for a digital trunk. The format of the command is ENTD followed by the loop number followed by the unit number followed by the time duration for which we want the trace to be enabled. Now let us run the trace. Here we see that the TN is currently idle. Let us make an incoming call via this TN. So here we see that the call is now in the ringing state. The TN on which we enable the trace is this 2130 and this shows details such as the MGC used and the uh, physical TN used and also it shows the route number and the member number. Uh, the terminating TN shows that it is landing on the DN7000. So if you see here this is the ISDN part which shows that the call is made from 8003 to 7000. Let us now answer the call. So now we see that the call has gone into the established state. And uh, once we disconnect the call, we see the TN going back to idle. It is to note that there is a general trace command called track that will provide the status of a TN at a particular point of time and uh, basically it gives the same information but the additional benefit of the enhanced trace is that it will provide the status of the TN for the full call and uh, that will help in the support personnel to analyze the full call and see where the call is going wrong or provide further analysis based on that. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.